Is your SSD or flash drive not showing files when you connect it to your mobile phone? There could be many reasons. You can watch this video to know more about it. So there are various reasons why you should go for an SSD or an HDD or a hybrid HDD hard disk drive. But one of the most obvious reasons would be the ability to transfer data from your mobile phone to your computer just like you do using a flash drive. SSDs are comparatively smaller than HDDs. They also have got faster reading and writing speed. They also do not require extra power as there are no mechanical parts inside the drive. While you may have been using flash drive to transfer data from your mobile phone to PC, using an SSD for the same could be a little tricky. Tricky because there are different formats for SSD. SSD needs to be formatted in a certain way that it is writable readable on your Android device on your Windows and on your Mac. So to be able to copy data from your Mac OS to SSD, it needs to be formatted using the Mac OS style. Thankfully, there is a common ground, a modern type of format that is supported by both Mac and Windows as well, as well as Android. It's called XFAT, uh, which is an improvement over the FAT32 format style, which was limited in many ways. We have actually written a detailed article about that, link to which you will find in the description of this video. Now, formatting your SSD using XFAT is pretty straightforward. You can do it on both Mac and Windows. Now, even if you format your SSD using XFAT, there are chances it is not readable on your mobile phone if you use micro USB or USB Type-C to connect it to your smartphone. The simple method to bypass this would be to format the drive that is compatible with smartphones also. So here is a simple Android app that actually makes it easy to read SSD drives on mobile phones. I've tried it myself. The app is called Microsoft XFAT NTFS for USB by Paragon Software. It is available in the Play Store, the link to which you will find in the iCard or in the description of this video. I also suggest that you read the detailed tutorial that is in the description of this video as well. So I was able to mount my 500 GB Samsung T5 SSD on my Xiaomi Android smartphone. Now the app is not free, it costs $3, but it is totally worth if you find yourself connecting your SSD to your mobile phone more often. So just by investing $3 in buying this software and investing around $100 in buying an SSD, I got a 500 TB SSD for around $100 a couple of years ago. I think you can get 1 TB nowadays. So it is quite a good investment if you are a creator or if you deal with a lot of large files. So this is it in this video. I hope you find this video useful. If you did, you can hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to make your life easy.